Matt uh, Palumbo, author of The Man Behind the Curtain Calls the Most Dangerous Man in America, and he joins us now. Matt, good to see you. Thanks so much for having thanks me Thanks for on. joining us. My pleasure. Uh, thanks for writing this book, too, by the way, and thanks for giving us a copy, because um, you look at a guy spending $40 million and basically changing the makeup of the uh, American state laws, the American judicial system, where you have all these soft on crime policies that have now taken taken hold for only forty million dollars. That's the thing you say only because he spent close to twenty billion over his lifetime. And you know they say all oh, politics is local. Well, this proves that because with that forty million dollars, I think we could probably identify more damage than the other almost twenty billion combined. I agree. We're seeing in every city, yeah, around the, around the country. These are places like Loudoun County, Virginia. Mm -hmm. So that's Northern Virginia yep. in Philadelphia. Larry Krasner. Mm -hmm. And his impeachment was uh, put, there was a court that put the kibosh on that. The Republicans there are appealing it. But so this is very broad. Over what period of time was this money spent? Was um, this about, about the past decade or so. And you mentioned the Loudoun County prosecutor. So she recently announced, and she tried to phrase it as like, we're not going to go over lower level crimes. And among those lower level crimes, one of them was evading police. So you can run away from cops, and then what happens if you get caught? Well, not showing up for a court date is no longer an enforceable crime in, in Loudoun County. So you can flee the cops. If you get caught, you don't have to show up. And these are the types of, quote-unquote, low-level crimes they're trying to sell us on not prosecuting. Hit and run. They don't that, that prosecute one, yeah. hit and run. So you yep. can hit somebody and not go yep. to jail, so not even be charged with the mm -hmm. crime. So, but it's one thing to say, you know, George Soros, you know, puts money into these DA races where a lot of, not a lot of money goes into yes. them, so you can, you can have a big impact with a little amount of cash. But then you see the results, Matt, of, of these uh, soft on crime prosecutors, and you'd think voters would say, you know what? I like the old guys better than this new George Soros guys, but the George Soros guys keep getting reelected. What's happening across the country? Well, you, you really can buy an election in these types of local races. You know, if you are, when service funds presidential races, I mean, 10 or $20 million when billions are spent is not much. Dropping 200 grand on a prosecutor's race, you can pretty much get whatever you want. And I mean, there have even been races he's donated to where the other, the opponent just drops out because they know they have no chance. So it, he's yeah. got a stranglehold there. And then, the, the funny thing is, too, he he must know the consequences because Chase Abudin, we know from San Francisco, was recalled last year. His reaction to that was to deny backing him ever financially. So not even acknowledging, okay, maybe I messed up, it wasn't popular. He just said, actually, on second thought, I had nothing to do with that. So he must be know what's going on, and, and I think it just kind of shows he is uh, as evil a man as we all think. Wasn't Chase Boudin the is the son of a uh, domestic well, terrorist? Yeah, the two other underground radicals who was raised by Bill Ayers and, uh, you know, who knew Obama. But now do people, because they can see and feel and actually are victims of these crimes, and they see the perpetrators not being prosecuted. So does that change this? So I, I don't remember the exact numbers, but when, when Budin was recalled, I feel like it was 60-40, which relative to the destruction he was doing, I feel like is, is way, you know, you might as well be a tie, uh, given that backdrop. So apparently people are not waking up. I, I don't know if they're not in tune with the news, or, or it could just be, hey, the, the media is mostly liberal, and they get to spin whatever narrative they want, and, and you know, maybe they're just buying you know, the Soros. But, 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 but George Soros truly is a, 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 an evil genius, because mm -hmm. if you're going to spend money to change a legislature, to change laws, that's going to cost you hundreds yeah. of millions of dollars across the country. And he was smart enough to say, if I just change the prosecutors so they won't enforce the laws that are passed by legislatures, I can change the whole country, and that's exactly what he's done. And we need to pay attention mm -hmm. as conservatives to say, wherever, wherever George Soros goes, I think we have to pay attention and start playing where he plays. Otherwise, this kind of thing happens And, and, and not just him, too. So his son, Alexander, if you follow his Instagram, it, it looks like he's sort of his father's ambassador right now. It's just sort of a who's who of Democrats and world leaders. Um, and in just the past few years, Soros donated something like 80 percent of his net worth to his Open Society Foundation, which I argue in the book is a sort of secession planning, that, that he's donated more than he's actually spent his entire life, so it's clearly going to go on well beyond him, and, and we need to keep an eye on that as well. But it's also been a confluence of things, though, like the bail reform coming mm -hmm. out of Albany, yes. the raise the age where uh, juveniles 17 and 16 now will not be charged as adults even for uh, major crimes unless they're 18. That's Andy Cuomo. Yes. And the uh, also the discovery reform in New York where d misdemeanor dismissals have soared to 82 percent. That also, you, ac you actually have Soros elected DAs 
who are upset with that. So it's so bad for even Soros-funded district mm -hmm. attorneys. It's a disaster. That Total it's a disaster. disaster. Great book, Matt. Uh, the Man Behind the Curtain. Look forward to reading it. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so much.